Hey, uh, Chip, Dennis Feidner. Hey, um, here's that video on the departments. I, I just wanted to get this out of the way, so, so I'll get this off to you this morning. So anyway, in uh, Stage 100, there's a, in the general ledger, there's a place to set up company departments. So if I click this, this is what we talked about a little bit on the phone. So I set up a Nevada office, and so I can have the Nevada office, at Nevada admin, Nevada project management, business development, service overhead, so these are all individual departments uh, in the Nevada area, so they have the same numbering sequence. So I'm going to close out of that real quick. And then if I go in, and I already filled this out, but this is an accounts payable invoice, so I got a bill from uh, whoever this is, some lumber company. I put everything in, I come down, I put in the, the amount, uh, the account that I want to charge that to, and then when I come to this column, I can depict which department I want to charge that to. So if I want to charge it to the to the projects, I just do that. If it's a job, that gets set up when I go in the job. Uh, let's go pick this job right here. Um, so there's a way to do all that. So if you look down, it's hard to see. I'll highlight it. So when I set that job up or a job up, I can pick what department I want that to. So if that's a project in Nevada, it goes to that, that department as uh, direct cost or direct income. If it's in San Francisco, then I would put it to the San Francisco department, but I can, when I set up a job, tell it where I want the cost and the revenue for that job. And as invoices come in, um, as invoices come in, I can pick where I want those to come in. So absolutely can do what you want. Uh, I'm going to close this out real quick. And then if I go into accounting reports, uh, if I come down here um, to the income statement, I'll open this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, you'll see that I have a departmental income statement, this for the month and the year, actual versus budget for the department, and uh, just a departmental income statement. So what happens is, like I talked on the phone, but if I come in here and I want to run this um, for, in a list, and I come over here and say, you know what, I want to run this for just this department, or I want to run these, these, all these departments as one report. I do that, and now I get a departmental report for all of the Nevada operations and profitability. If I just want to see, um, I've got to figure out how to unclick these. Uh, hang on, I haven't done this in a while. There we go. Um, if I just want to run it for the service overhead department to give to the service manager for his overhead expenses, then I just print this one department. But I can run a, a combination of these. I can run one of these or all of these uh, into one report. And that's uh, just when you come in here. If I want to go, uh, I want to run between 200 and 205. A lot of ways to do it. Anyway, absolutely does departmentals. I don't know what you saw that said we didn't, but we absolutely do uh, departmental reporting. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Uh, I think... I'm meeting here, well, I don't know when you're going to listen to this, but I'm meeting at about 8.30 this morning, Friday, uh, with uh, a company, uh, another Master Builder partner, Sage 100 partner in uh, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, I guess it's Philadelphia, and they think that they have a solution to do the maps automatically, and so I'm going to meet with them this morning uh, and make sure that they have that. If so, I will let you know. Thanks.